In this tutorial, we're going to talk about snapshots. Snapshots provide an easy way for you to save the current state of your layers as a multi-action queue so that you can very easily restore that state later on in the show. This is quite useful if, for instance, you spent a long time setting your layers up and choosing these settings and you very much like them just the way you are and you want to be able to save exactly what's here and be able to recall that later. So as you can see, I've got some media here in multiple playlists. I've got some church motion graphics content here, and then I've got some audio tracks as well. And here in my four layers, I've got some media playing back in those three layers. I've got audio playing back in my fourth layer. And then I've changed a few of the settings here in my layer strip. So I've got everything playing out to different targets. The audio doesn't have a target selection because it's just audio. And I've changed the opacity of this layer. I've added some effects to some layers. And then they have some different transitions applied as well. So what do I do if I want to make all of this stuff happen at the exact same time later on when possibly I've changed the settings here in my layers and I'm obviously not running that same media? In order to do that, I'm going to create a snapshot. So here at the bottom left of the queue view, I'm going to click the plus and then choose the snapshot option. That's going to bring up this window here that will show you all the options for what you can save with your snapshot. So we'll just go ahead and click and drag to unselect these and click on those. So this is pretty much empty right now. This is going to save nothing. But I want those exact four pieces of media to play at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of those. You can either click and drag across them to make them blue, or you can click on individual ones. You could recall specific layer presets. And for more on layer presets, you can check out the tutorial that regards layer presets. Uh, we obviously want the same target sets because we want the media to go to the same places. So you can click on those to choose target sets. And then we didn't affect the blend mode, so I'm not going to change that. We're going to want to keep the opacity from layer one. So I'll select that for layer one. And then I added those effects to the first three layers. So we'll select those as well. And then also those transitions because I want the transitions to stay the same on all of them. So once I've done that, you can see I've got my selections here. And when I click save, that's going to create a multi-action queue here in snapshot form that you can see it's got those three pieces of media. And then it has the audio file here on the end. And we've got this icon here showing us that we actually have some non-media actions applied to the layer as well. And that's going to be those effect changes, the target set changes, things of that nature. So if I go ahead and clear all so that none of that stuff is playing out on the layers anymore, and then come over here and reset all of these layer strips to default. So it's going to remove all of those changes. Then you can see here that I've got four layers that are just default layers with none of those options selected. If I come over here to the snapshot and then click on it to trigger it, you'll see that it triggers all of the media and then it changes the target sets, the opacity of this one layer, it adds those effects back and it changes the transitions to be exactly what I had chosen earlier. You'll also notice that all four of these pieces of media started playing back at the exact same time. For more information on layer details and other ways to create multi-action queues, you can check out our knowledge base and our other tutorials found at www.renewedvision.com.